Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about identification and reconciliation engine IRE. As we know, in CI class manager IRE, here the classes are either modified or created. And you can set identification and reconciliation rules for that particular class. So let's learn more about IRE in this video. Identification and reconciliation rule provide a common centralized method for identifying and reconciling the data from different data sources. Which means if we are using service not discovery or other discovery like SCCM to populate or update CI in the CMDB, use the same reconciliation and identification rule to see if the record is already present in the database or needs to be created as a new record. This reduces the chances of creating a duplicate record. There are three types of quality checks. The identification rules prevents any duplicate record to be created in the CMDB, reconcile the CI attributes, and reclassify the CI if needed. Reconciliation rules only allows authorized data to insert or update record in the CMDB. Last, relationship rules verifies that all the relationship that are required they exist meaning that if there is any dependent ci that need to exist before creating the new record so this is all about identification reconciliation engine the cmdb identification process relies on identification rules and these are known as ci identifiers to uniquely identify the configuration items. An identification rule applies to a CI class and consists of a single identifier or more than one identifier entries, each with a different priority. Let's navigate to CCI identifier, type identifier in the application navigator, under configuration, click on CI identifiers, and you can see the list of identifiers here. Let's go to suppose hardware. Here is the hardware rule. We will dig in and see what are the identifiers for the hardware class. So here we can see there are a lot of identifier entries in this tab. And each has different priorities as you can see here correlation id priority 75 product instance id priority 90 serial number serial number type priority 100 name priority 300 in this way each identifier entry identifies a unique attribute set with a specified priority and this is how this process can be viewed in the discovery schedule status record. Let's go to discovery schedules. So if you have any discovery scheduled here in the status, you can see for uh, example, I have a screenshot of how it will look because we do not have anything you're running currently so this is how it will look you can click on the devices and you can see that classification is done as windows classified the action is completed status is updated ci and this is how this process can be viewed in the discovery schedule status record we can also navigate to CMDB identifier through CI class manager. We have seen this in other videos related to identification and reconciliation rule. Go to hierarchy, go to 
windows and here under the identification rule you can see the priority related to the attributes and different identifiers during the discovery process a device will be classified and a cmdb record will either be, be created or updated using the identification rule and this process can be viewed in the discovery schedule status record this is all for this video and if you like our videos please subscribe to our channel hit the like button share the video share the knowledge we will see you in next video